Hey guys, my name is Ricky with OFW Brands and Sneeze Guards, and I'm here to show you how to put together your mobile sneeze guard partition. So here we have all the parts that will be needed to put your uh, mobile sneeze guard partition together. You will get a total of 20 short bolts. Here are six. And you'll get four for each caster. You get two bolts one for each caster to hold it to your mobile sneeze guard. You will get four 90 degree angle brackets. Depending on size, you may or may not get an H channel to hold the glass together. Again, depending on size, you will get the right measured amount bracket to hold the glass in place. So today we will be putting together a 6x6 mobile sneeze guard partition. With the mobile sneeze guard partitions, you will be using polycarbonate at a quarter inch compared to acrylic plexiglass. Just so you have the bendability and nothing gets broken or chipped. Like I mentioned, we will be making a 6x6 polycarbonate mobile sneeze guard. And the sheet I have here is a 3 high by 6 wide. So the fastest way to get this job done is by using a drill and the drill bit size will be a 716 socket. The first step to creating your mobile sneeze guard is taking two of the bracket frames, one L bracket and two short bolts. What you will do L bracket like so into each end for the frame making place it in each end making an L then you will take your two short screws Place them into the hole. You want to start it off just by screwing it in with your fingers to place a hole. Once you have those in hold, you want to make sure you screw those on tight. Once you have your completed L, you're going to lay it down flat on the cardboard. Grab one of the polycarbonate sheets setting up a mobile sneeze guard partition we require to be a two-man job so that one person can fit the polycarbonate into the frame while the other person holds the frame so today junior will be helping me So after you got your first polycarbonate sheet in place inside the frame, 
you will then be taking the H channel and placing it on top of After you have your H channel in place, then you will grab your second polycarbonate sheet and put it on top of the H channel inside the uh, side frame. After you have your second polycarbonate sheet placed inside the top of the H channel, you'll be using two short bolts, one L bracket, and one side frame. Before placing them all together on the opposite side, we recommend that you flip the entire shield so that this side frame then becomes the bottom frame to put this together easily. Once you've flipped it, you then put together the frame with the screw, creating that bracket. After you have the one screw in this bracket, place it on top of the frame and glass. force might be needed to get the bracket into the frame so once you press it down you should hear it click and that's how you know it's in place then you take the other short bolt screw it into the bottom to create the seat frame and make sure that it stays in put After you have three parts of your frame installed, you will turn it then again so that the side frame is on its bottom. Like so. The last piece to creating a complete frame will be taking two L brackets, your last frame piece and the last two short screws. You do not want to put this, these two screws in while you have the brackets in because that's where your bases will go. After you have it placed, you will then take the two screws and screw them into the sides here so the bracket stays stationary. To then further make sure that this job goes as smoothly as possible, it is always recommended to put the wheels onto the base before you get it onto your mobile sneeze guard partition. So with your mobile sneeze guard partition, where these bases will go, will be on the top, so that the top of the partition will then become the bottom once it is complete. And you will take the two long bolts with the two bases, place them on top. The base will be channeled out with a threaded hole through the middle 
So when you do set it on top, it will stay and tighten once you tighten the bolt to the frame. way to find the threaded hole is by taking the bolt through the bottom of the base and matching it up while drilling the screw into the frame make sure you look at the gaps of the base between the frame and that there is no gap or line because you do want these screws to be extremely tight so that the bases do not become loose while in motion. After you've completed this part, you will lay it down slowly with your partner onto his side. Then from here, you would move back and move it upright. And there you go, you have your completed mobile sneeze guard partition. So as you can see, after the installation, your polycarbonate might be a little smudgy. What we recommend and use ourselves is our Novus cleaning kit. And what you get inside the kit six polishing cloths, one eight ounce bottle of plastic clean and shine, two fine scratch remover kits, and two microfiber cloths. So to get the smudge out of the glass completely, we're going to take the plastic clean and shine, spray the glass directly, And you take one of the polishing cloths, open it up to cover your hand, this will be all the dirt and smudge, most likely after installation. Then with the final touch, you're going to want to cover your hand with the microfiber cloth then go back in circular motions, cleaning up any access clean and shine. After the top and bottom is done, then you're going to want to do it to the opposite side that you just cleaned. To get maximum cleanliness and shine out of any of our sneeze guard products that we sell. Thank you for watching this tutorial and please do not hesitate to give us a call for any questions that you might have or visit our website at sneezeguardez.com.